headed out to my dad's house. We're gonna put a new motor in his truck. He has like a 2004 F350 with the 6.0. Um, I know there's been a lot of issues with him. He bought this truck super cheap, probably 12 years ago. Um, we've done heads and head studs, I think in like 2012. Um, and his motor finally locked up. So uh, I've got to haul my dump trailer down with a load of scrap in it. A buddy of mine needs to use the dump trailer, so he's going to get all the scrap metal with it. Um, i got to also take my car dolly down, so we're going to go out and load the car dolly up. So let's see how this goes. Well, that should be good enough for what we're gonna do. We're not going very fast. We're just gonna take back roads. It'll take a while to get there. Um, hopefully we can get that uh, car dolly out of there when I get there because I do need to bring a car home today. So, well, we'll see when we get there. Well, we made it to my parents. Um, nothing fell off. I had a couple of straps that we uh, pulled over tightened them up but nothing flew out we didn't go all that fast uh, I figure while I'm here I'll show everybody a build I did uh, I think over this last winter took me probably three months to complete this truck um, but I'll turn the camera around and check it out together so this is a 2002 it's a, it is an f350 the badging is incorrect um, the suspension lift wheels and tires came off a truck I have in the backyard. This truck came to me in a trade and a buddy of mine wanted to buy it. <clears throat> I put these automated steps on. It took a lot because they don't hide correctly. Um, but now you can't see them at all. It, it, it took me probably two or three days to figure out how to bracket that. Um, a buddy of mine did not want to see him when it was driving down the road. Uh, we put in power leather seats, put all the gauges in it. We had to redo all the stereo system in it because this was a chassis cab that had a, a utility bed on it at one time. Um, if you see, the rear end doesn't quite sit in the holes 100%. How the truck came to me was with this bed. And the rear end already moved and i didn't want to move the rear end again <clears throat> um, it has the hood off my parts truck in the backyard because this one was pretty bad shape bent up but we're just going to wrap this with carbon fiber uh, let's see so this truck i can't remember all the specifications it's been so long it does have the biggest turbo that you can put stock in it. I don't know what that is right off the bat. I know we put 200 cc injectors in it. Uh, I think it has a DP tuner in it. Uh, we upgraded the radiator to the 6 liter radiator because it cools better. I had to make some brackets for this all to work correct with the stock fan shroud and everything. Uh, he wanted the colored radiator hoses on it which mm, they're okay but they seem to expand uh, but yeah this this was a complete tear down all the way down to the block um, it works good now it performs well he's getting really good mileage with it we have uh, we have a little bit more to do I know he wants to also wrap the tailgate because we found that off a newer truck and it looked really good on there we did tail lights 
aftermarket bumper. Uh, eventually we'll build a winch bumper for the front, but for now this will work. Passenger side, stairs come out. Uh, and I did not hook up the passenger seat yet, but I will. But other than that, I'll uh, put you guys over on the side and we'll get the car dolly unloaded off the trailer and then I'll do a walk around on why I'm actually here today. Alright, now that we unloaded that, this is the real reason we're here. This is the old motor. Um, as far as we can tell, because we don't really, there's no physical damage, we feel as though this rear cylinder here um, must have something wrong with it. That's all we know. We didn't really look into it that much. We pulled the head, the motor turned over fine, but it locked up on him just barely pulling out of his driveway. So he doesn't really know what's going on. Um, We've already worked, well, a few times. I've been here two other times, you know, help get the cab lifted and the old motor out. And then we set the new motor in here, I don't know, last week, I think. And he's been working on it the whole time. Um, he ordered it. Ready? I'm ready. So we got this. So if we want to get rid of all this, I would, I would pull some of this out. Got this in. I was going to show where these body mount bolts are inside. So <clears throat> to get these off, there's there's one on each side, on that one on that side. Then there's another one under this carpet right here. On both sides, you got to pull all this, all this interior apart, and then these front ones, you have to tear the interior apart, and they're up right underneath there. So those were a pain to find, but at least we can find them. I think it's pretty good. Alright, well, we'll get everything bolted up and put the front end together. Alright, so we wrapped it up for the day. I didn't film much, mainly because we're really trying to get this job done. Um, we got the majority of the front together, all the new wiring harnesses in. He's still waiting on fuel injection harnesses, I think. Uh, he has to go get a new radiator hose for the lower radiator. Uh, oh, and he's waiting for his FICM to come back. He uh, somehow shorted out and burned up during all this, so that, that could have been part of the failure. They said they wouldn't even rebuild it, so he ended up disordering a new one. We got all the interior back together, um, cabs bolted down. So now 
really what I need to do is get out here and we're going to load up that car we're taking home. We're going to take that little Scion XB home over there uh, on the car dolly. That's going to be my daughter's little project car. She's tired of her car, so time to move on. Uh, all right, well, that's it for the day. Uh, let me know if you like this video.